MG, you can hear the rumble in the background. Oh, yeah. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Um, but I'm, it, the, I suppose the one word that uh, describes my experience at the moment is pumped. Well, that's got to be a good thing. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of horsepower. Uh, there's only one speed I, I, I hear, and um, that's flat chat. So um, we've had a bit of rain overnight, which makes the conditions even better for for this type of car. Uh, what is it, 8,000 or 800 horsepower? Yeah, let's go 900. 900 horsepower. Um, sitting behind a pretty accomplished driver yeah. makes me feel happy and uh, hopefully I might even get a chance to have a, a crack at it myself. But um, this is something that I'm looking forward to, mate. You always watch these from afar, but you never realise that you, can, you get an opportunity to have a go at it. Now we're down here with MG. MG, you've just had your experience in the Triple M two-seater. Explain what that was like. Mate, that was that was like any theme park ride times 10 on steroids. That was, my God. You don't race that fast, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, net, net, right. net. I'm stop after one lap. MG. What did you do? Oh. About, about 10. Now, the other thing, that you've taken some big hits over your time and given some big hits. Mate, Does that compare? That's the best rush I've ever had in my life, by far. I've never been in a, a plane where they do the G-force shit, but that was compatible. That was, that was, man, that was, uh, I wouldn't have stopped after one lap, I was, I was shitting myself. But then after about eight or nine laps, you started to get the groove, and then Max and Soft slowed down a bit, so. Oh, man, that was a spin out, what a rush. How's, how's your neck after doing that as well, because the G-forces? Well, neck's okay, but uh, the undies are sh bad. They've shit in my pants. <laughs> I think I have, no, seriously. <laughs> Ever, ever rush. When he first gets on the track and you hear, oh, this is going a bit slow. And then he floors it and you've got no, you just got no control. You know, because we're in the back seat and all trust on Max. Max, well done, brother. Thanks for getting me home safe. You did, mate. And uh, play your beer. But uh, more importantly, thanks to the guys here at the Speedway for giving me this opportunity because, you know, I appreciate how good these dudes are. Do you want to go out again? No. <laughs> Nah. Yeah, you said you wanted to drive it before you had to go. Do you want to drive it now? Nah. Nah, f*** that, bro. Oh, excuse me, sorry. A lot of beeps in this interview, sorry, but uh, that's, that's the emotion of it. It's just, it's exhilarating. It's unbelievable. Thanks again. Well done, mate. Whoa.